This is a tutorial for the Simone Crochet Poncho with Cowl Hood and Belt. This is a figure flattering and cozy poncho with many styling options, including a coordinating cowl slash hood and belt. These projects work up quickly with number five bulky weight yarn. You will need 2,030 yards of number five bulky weight yarn, an L11 or eight millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle and scissors. The sample shown is in Be So Easy yarn, my number five bulky weight, 100% milk cotton yarn in color raspberry. The sample shown takes 14 balls. The poncho begins with the back and starting at the shoulders. The setup row starts with foundation ovals. First you want to tie your yarn to your crochet hook. You can use a square knot, slip knot, whatever works best for you. And then to begin the setup row, it's chain four and treble crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. This is your working loop. We'll count back one, two, three, and four. Treble crochet is yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Our first foundation oval is made. Let's do another one. Chain four and treble crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. One, two, three, four, yarn over twice. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Two foundation ovals made. You want to repeat this until you have 21 foundation ovals. This is the what the end of the setup row should look like. I'm doing a reduced size sample with five foundation ovals. If you're doing the full size version, you should have 21 foundation ovals at the end of the setup row. Row one begins with a chain four which counts as your first treble crochet. And then we're gonna work four treble crochets into that first foundation oval. Treble crochet is yarn over your hook twice. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. You wanna do three more treble crochets in that same foundation oval. Then in the next foundation oval, we're going to work a two treble crochet cluster. That's yarn over your hook twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same oval, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a two treble crochet cluster. Chain two, then do another two treble crochet cluster in the same oval. Chain two. And one more two treble crochet cluster in the same oval. And then in the next foundation oval, we'll work five treble crochets. Okay, and our repeat for this row is two treble cluster, chain two, two treble cluster, chain two, two treble cluster in one foundation oval, then five treble crochets in the next foundation oval. And you wanna repeat from here to here all the way across row one. This is what your work should look like at the end of row one. Row two begins with a chain four, which counts as your first treble crochet. Turn your work one treble crochet into each of the next four treble crochets. Chain 
chain three, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain three, and one treble crochet into each of the next five treble crochets. And our repeat for this row starts with this chain three and ends with this treble crochet and you want to repeat that all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row two. Row three begins with a chain four which counts as your first treble crochet. Turn your work. One treble crochet into each of the next four treble crochets. Then we're going to skip the next chain three space and in the next chain three space work two treble cluster, chain two, two treble cluster, chain two, two treble cluster. Skip the next chain three space and work one treble crochet into each of the next five treble crochets. And our repeat for this row begins with the two treble cluster, chain two, two treble cluster, chain two, two treble cluster and then one treble crochet into each of the next five stitches. You want to repeat this all the way across your row. This is what your work should look like at the end of row three. Our stitch pattern repeat for this project is to repeat rows two and three for your desired size. For To follow the pattern exactly as written, for rows four through 19, you want to repeat rows two and three eight more times. Next, I'm going to show you row 20. Just keep in mind that this is a reduced size sample. You still want to repeat rows 2 and 3 for whatever your desired length is. If you're following the pattern exactly, you repeat rows 2 and 3 eight more times and end at row 19, which means that row 20 is our final row for the back. Starts with the chain 4, counts as our first treble crochet. One treble crochet into each of the next four stitches. One treble crochet in the next cluster stitch, one treble crochet in the next chain two space, one treble crochet in the next cluster stitch, one treble crochet in the next chain two space, one treble crochet in the next cluster stitch, and one treble crochet into each of the next five treble crochets. Okay, so our repeat for this row is one treble in the next cluster, one treble in the next chain two, one treble in the next cluster, one treble in the next chain two, one treble in the next cluster stitch, then one treble into each of the next five treble crochets, and you want to repeat this all the way across your row. This is the end of the back piece. You want to fasten off here in the next video. I'll show you how to get started on the front. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about today, you can find as links in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.